Hi, I'm Lisa, your clinician. How are you doing today? Um, kind of nervous, actually. Just, uh, you know, waiting on the test results. Well, I ran the test. Can you tell me what you're hoping the outcome will be? Well, I'm, I'm still in college, so... I... What were the results? Alicia, the pregnancy test is positive. Oh, God. I can see this isn't the result that you wanted. I, um, I actually took a test at home. I just, I, I was hoping it was wrong. I'm sorry that this isn't the news that you wanted. Is there someone that you can talk about this with who's supportive? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Well, so Alicia, before I get into your options, does the person who got you pregnant know that you're here today? Uh, no. Will you share the test results with him? Is he still in your life? He's my boyfriend. Um, he's actually, uh, he thinks I might be pregnant and he's actually really excited. But I'm, I'm not ready to be a mom. That kind of disagreement can make it really difficult to decide what to do. Tell me about it. Have you two been together long? Uh, about a year. Not being in the same place about a decision like this can be really stressful. Are you planning on telling him? Yeah, I, I guess. Well, in terms of making a decision, according to your last period, you're still early in your pregnancy. So that gives you time to think about your options and make a decision, whether to keep the pregnancy and be a mom, go with adoption, or have an abortion. I really wish I didn't have to think about any of this. Yeah, I really understand. Now, are you afraid of what will happen when you tell him? Why? I want to have an abortion. But I think he'll lose his mind if he finds out. I've actually kind of been going back and forth about whether or not to tell him. Well, what does that look like going out of his mind? He, um, he literally told me, if I find out that you killed my baby, I'll kill you. Alicia, this is really scary. Has he ever hurt you physically in the past? No, he's, he's just crazy jealous and he really wants to have a baby with me. Do you think he got you pregnant on purpose? I, I don't know, I, I can't. I feel so stupid about all this. He told me that if I got on birth control, it would make me fat. And he just wanted to use condoms. And I didn't want him to think I was fat, so I didn't get on the birth control. And, and then he pulled the condom off, or it, it fell off, or whatever. And I mean, I, I've, I've taken emergency contraception a few times, but I don't know. I, I guess I just missed a couple. I'm really sorry you have to go through all this, Alicia. Is this something that you can share with friends and family? No. No, I'm too embarrassed. I mean, I, I'm, I know better. I'm not supposed to be in this kind of relationship. Alicia, all kinds of women at different points in their lives find themselves in this situation. I'm not an expert in controlling or abusive relationships, but I know someone who is. Would it be okay if I called my colleague, Debbie? She can help you develop a safety plan, think about next steps. She's helped a lot of women in your situation. She can come here to the clinic if that's what you want to do, or you can even talk to her on the phone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to talk to her. Thank you for trusting me with your story. For now, I want you to get support and be safe so that you can make the choice that's right for you, not out of fear of what your partner will do. Hi, Debbie. It's Lisa from the clinic. I have a client here, Alicia, who has some things she wants to go over with you. You have time now? Great. Hold on one sec. Um, hi, Debbie.